This demo will cover how we set up advanced threat protection and safe attachments policy. First thing we're going to do is go to our Exchange Admin Center. And once we load our Exchange Admin Center on the left hand side, we're going to click on Advanced Threats. Here we'll find our safe attachments settings. Let's click on the plus icon to create a new safe attachments policy. First, we'll give us a name. Let's call this one Safe Attachments Policy. And now we have to select which option we want to leverage. We can either select off, which means we're not scanning attachments. Monitor says we'll scan the attachment, but then deliver it anyway, even if we detect malware. Block says we're going to block any malware that we detect and any future instances of that malware. Replace says we're going to block the attachments with the detected malware, but we'll still continue to deliver the message. So for our scenario, we're going to select block. It's really important to note that we're, depending on what setting you select here will depend on how much delay is introduced as a result of implementing this policy and mail delivery. We can now enable redirection. So if we want to redirect any attachments that have been scanned or blocked, we can redirect them. So let's enable that here and we'll select our admin user. And you'll notice the checkbox is checked to say that if the selection of malware scanning attachments times out or if an error occurs, we're still going to apply the block policy. So we'll leave that selected. Now we have to tell Office 365 and Advanced Threat Protection where we want to apply this to. For this demonstration, we're going to select everybody in our entire domain. So we're going to say the recipient's domain is, select our domain, click on OK, and then hit Save. And just like that, we've created a safe attachments policy inside of Advanced Threat Protections, which will now make my tenant that much more secure.